Chris Christofferson has just passed away peacefully on September 28th, 2024 at his home in Hawaii. The music icon and actor was 88 years old and had retired three years ago. While he long owned a ranch property in California on the Mendocino coast, he and his wife Lisa decided to let it go and permanently move to Hawaii where they lived in Maui. His former property in California boasted 557 acres of land and ocean frontage. It was a multi-building estate that was originally developed as a dairy farm back in the 1800s. Chris Christofferson has passed away peacefully at his home in Hawaii at the age of 88. The country music icon and actor died on Saturday, three years after retiring from the entertainment industry. His family shared the news in an emotional statement on Instagram, saying, With heavy hearts, we announced that our beloved loved husband, father, and grandfather Chris Christofferson passed away peacefully at home. I feel incredibly blessed to have had our time with him. Thank you for loving him over the years, and when you see a rainbow, know he's smiling down at us. Chris is survived by his wife Lisa, his eight children, and seven grandchildren. His passing has been met with tributes from friends and collaborators, including Barbara Streisand, who starred with him in the 1976 film A Star is Born. Streisand remembered Christofferson fondly, recalling their first meeting and their duets, saying he was as charming as ever, and it was a joy to see him receive the recognition and love he so richly deserved. Country legend Dolly Parton also shared her grief, stating, What a great loss. What a great writer, actor, and friend. I will always love you. Dolly. Born in Texas in 1936, Chris's path to stardom included some time in the U.S. military as a helicopter pilot before pursuing music in Nashville. His big break came when Johnny Cash recorded his song Sunday Morning Coming Down, leading to his successful solo career. Christofferson's songwriting credits include hits like Me and Bobby McGee, famously covered by Janis Joplin, and Help Me Make It Through the Night, which earned him a Grammy. In addition to music, Chris had a successful acting career, starring in films such as Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, and the original A Star Is Born. He also formed the country supergroup The Highwaymen with Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson, and Waylon Jennings in the 1980s. Chris released 18 studio albums throughout his career and retired in 2021. He was married three times, most recently to Lisa Myers, with whom he had five children. While he spent his final years in Hawaii in 2023, Chris Christofferson's longtime California ranch came on the market for $17.2 million. This was the first time the property was up for sale in over 40 years. The expansive 557-acre property was owned by Chris since 1980 and was full of history, being originally developed as a dairy farm in the 1800s. The original road, house, and barns still stand, showing craftsmen ship from a past era. Below the roadhouse lies Devil's Basin, a rocky area featured in the film Karate Kid 3, set against some of California's most unspoiled coastlines. With nearly a mile of oceanfront, the ranch offers a range of opportunities from cattle and timber production to residential development. Multiple building sites along the ridge lines offer panoramic ocean views connected by a well-maintained series of roads that span from the water's edge to coastal meadows overlooking Manchester State Park. Chris's former ranch is a peaceful retreat surrounded by the stunning nature. Old growth redwood trees in the Pacific Ocean make up the backdrop and offer plenty of privacy while being only 20 minutes from the Little River Airport. The property is located three hours north of San Francisco and only minutes from the town of Elk. Chris, who purchased the ranch in 1980, had leased much of the land for cattle grazing over the years. A Texas native, he shared that the ranch has always been a source of creativity and inspiration. The property still kept some of its historic structures from the dairy farm days, like a 2,400 square foot barn used by Chris and his wife as a vacation home. There was also a 1,900 square foot ranch house and both dairy and feed barns, all requiring some restoration. The ranch includes 300 acres of open pasture and 250 acres of forest land full of redwood and fir trees. Chris and his wife were residing in their primary home on Maui, Hawaii at the time they put this ranch on the market and had decided it was time to let the ranch go and move on.
Chris kept his home in Hawaii so private that there's really no information on it besides some aerial views of the property. When he was asked about some of the reasons he chose Hawaii to settle in, he would say his favorite place on earth was Brownsville, Texas. He mentioned in an interview, Growing up in Brownsville was the best thing I remember of my life. In fact, where I live today reminds me a lot of Brownsville. It's a real small town and they've got stuff growing everywhere. And perhaps people today will be surprised that I liked it, but to me it was bare feet and dirt roads and good people. That's one of the reasons I settled here in Hawaii. It reminds me of Brownsville and the weather and the people. While Chris found peace in his retired days living in Hawaii, he didn't always think he'd make it there. His seven decade career was nearly derailed by his hard living lifestyle during his time on the road as a musician and in Hollywood as a leading man. I thought all serious artists were self-destructive. The Brownsville, Texas native told People back in 1998 that anyone worth their salt was living on the edge. Christofferson had a moment of clarity in the 1970s or the late 1970s, which led him to curb his hard partying ways. This turning point came after watching his death scene in the 1976 remake of A Star Is Born, where he played a self-destructive rock star opposite Barbara Streisand. His drinking habits escalated in the late 1960s and into the 70s at the same time as his relationship with blues rock icon Janis Joplin. The two shared a deep bond and Chris fondly remembered their time together, despite her struggles with addiction. He said we were real close. I was drinking heavily and she was trying to kick heroin. Tragically, Joplin died of a heroin overdose in 1970 at just 27, a loss that deeply affected Chris, though he continued his heavy drinking afterwards. At his peak, Chris described himself as a functioning alcoholic, relying on booze to perform. It wasn't until he saw his character's death in A Star Is Born, a car crash caused by drinking and driving, that he realized he needed to change. The emotional impact of the scene where Streisand's character mourns over him really got to him. He said, I remember thinking that could easily be my wife and kids crying over me. I quit drinking after that. I didn't want to die before my daughter grew up. After getting sober, his life took a positive turn, including meeting his future wife, Lisa Myers, in 1982. They soon began a relationship and went on to have five children together, making Chris the father of eight, including three from previous marriages. Reflecting on his later years, Chris Christofferson expressed gratitude for his peaceful family life in Maui, saying, I never thought I'd live past 30. I could have ended up dead. His rep confirmed he was surrounded by family when he passed away on Saturday. Chris Christofferson's legacy as a pioneering artist will remain, remembered for both his immense talent and the personal transformation that allowed him to find peace later in life. That'll bring today's video to an end, but rest in peace, Chris Christofferson. You will always be celebrated. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all next time. Bye.